Hey, what is goody in a hoodie? Everything I smoke is fruity. All these niggas count in my pockets. They be asking what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to my Angel Tarot. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Mimi. Um, I just want to go ahead and get a general reading out there for my collective. Um, Really, I want to channel Divine Masculine. What is the masculine doing right now? What is the energy surrounding the masculine? How does masculine feel about feminine right now? <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Please give us some clear, true, Clairvoyant messages from my collective. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Loyal heart and this is fucking faded. <gasps> and what's this? Treasure Island. Okay, so you and your masculine... You and your masculine, it's definitely fated for y'all to be together. It's literally meant for y'all to be together. And y'all are going to have a, a lot of abundance being together. Like y'all going to be real happy, happy wife, happy life. But in this card as well, we see the stars aligning. You know, this is literally fated. Um, We have 35. 17 and we have nine and y'all know three plus five is eight one plus seven is eight and then we have nine so we have eight eight nine uh that number may resonate with y'all but we definitely have a lot of love here you and your masculine is definitely in love and y'all know that both of y'all is fated to be together and y'all also know that once y'all come together if y'all aren't together already Y'all got treasure island. That's a fucking treasure chest. That's a treasure chest. What filled with gold and a lot of love. Damn. Round and round. So y'all may have been um in a cycle. You know, um, getting to know each other, you know, like um, lear learning yourself, because when you're with your twin flame, that's literally a reflection of you and y'all teach each other about yourself. <clears throat> so y'all may have um, been going round and round for some time. Y'all literally may have been in a cycle, make up, break up, make up, break up. And it may have been going on for seven months, seven years, um, or the, the number seven just resonate with y'all. But at the end of the day, what's wrong, baby? Come here. Come to your mama. Come here. No? Okay. So, yeah, though, like, but this connection is faded. Like, if you clicked on this video and you wanted to because you got your masculine on your mind, it's fated for y'all to be together, but y'all had to go through trials and tribulations. Y'all about to go the distance together. Once y'all get back together, if y'all not together right now, but if you are together, then I don't, like, y'all just literally just about to start clicking in a different way. Y'all about to collide. Like, y'all energy, I don't know what y'all are doing. But y'all working on yourself. Y'all working on yourself. And y'all becoming better for each other. Orphaned. So you or your person may be feeling so alone right now. See, I feel like I'm channeling um, a twin flame connection. Y'all may not be talking right now. Like y'all literally may be not together right now. And both of y'all feel orphaned. You know, it's time to go. It's time to um, go back towards each other because y'all make each other happy. This is happy, happy. That's too happy. So y'all make each other happy. 
Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful reading. Y'all make each other happy. And that's all that matters. You know, like, y'all know each other. Y'all twin flames. Y'all love each other. You know, everybody ain't perfect. You know, we all got to go through the bullshit. But as long as we still love ourselves and love each other while going through these trials and tribulations together, we, we're teaching each other. You feel me? That's what twin flames supposed to do. And a, a real twin flame gonna always love a twin flame, regardless of the trials and tribulations that y'all put each other through. I don't know why. It sounds like I'm rapping. <laughs> I'm smoking my hookah, y'all. Dear part, <clears throat> the best water. Oh my gosh, I need to go get my nails done. I peeled my SNS off. <laughs> I'll go soon. Oh, what was this? This motherfucker just. <gasps> oh my gosh, soulmates. I'm not making this shit up. We got loyal hearts, the fates, happy, happy, and soulmates. And then on this go to distance card, it's 47. P four plus seven is 11. 11 is twin flame. Spirit is behind y'all. Spirit is, is, is doing work on, on both of y'all. God put both of y'all here for a reason. And God is, it, it's faded. It's faded. Man, God is right there with y'all, teaching y'all these lessons, my nigga. Not for you. All this other shit is not for you. That's why you've been feeling orphaned. That's why you've been alone. You know, you've been alone. You've been putting in your self work so that you and your person can come back together and y'all are better and y'all are ready for each other because all this other shit that the world got to offer, all these games and shit, that's not for you. We got spirit right here again. That's a chess board and we got a fortune cookie. You playing chess, not checkers. All that bullshit is not for you. Let me get two more wisdom oracle cards. Just for the hell of it. Co-create. Co-create. It's meant for y'all to co-create together. It's meant for y'all to co-create with spirit. It's something that y'all gotta do. This lifetime, it's something that y'all gotta do, man. And I was thinking that earlier, but I ain't even say it. But it ain't no place like home. Y'all being together is at home. Y'all feel at home with each other. Y'all are each other's homes. Y'all are twin flames. This shit meant to be. So I don't know what y'all going through right now, but it's time for y'all to go ahead and come together, man. Like, this shit is faded. <laughs> I know y'all tired of feeling orphaned out there. You want to know something? I feel orphaned with my twin flame. And I know my twin flame feel orphaned too because we not together. Like, we are each other's home, you know? I gotta shuffle the cards over here because I don't want to fuck up those cards. And then I still can't shuffle these bitches. So I'm gonna just do it the easy way. I won't fuck it up the easy way. All right. Uh, this is a beautiful reading. No place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. We have the four of cups. The four of cups. You're masculine. You're masculine. Isn't really happy with what it is that he has right there in his face. You know, 
those cups are just sitting there. He's looking at those cups. He, girl, <sighs> your masculine may have three different bitches. And he looking at them and he's still not happy. But he not even paying attention to the you that's coming straight from spirit. You feel me? That hand is coming out the clouds. He's not happy with the three options that he has. But since he's just so focused on what he's not happy with, he can't even see what God is trying to give him. And then we have the fool. Your person wants something new. Your person may be in Aries, but your person want to take a risk. Your person want to start something new. Your person want to see a new beginning. Your person want happiness. Yellow is a happy color. You feel me? Like literally, you can Google it. He want to jump off the cliff. Yeah. And I feel like he going to take that risk when he realize what God <laughs> had in front of him the whole time. He's going to have a I just had an epiphany. <laughs> I need to go to feminine. <laughs> Masculine is having an epiphany. And he's going to realize who you are to him. And he's going to take a risk to co-create with you. He's going to co-create with you. Now we have the five of cups. The five of cups is a regretful energy. We got these three of cups spilled over and now he got two other cups, but now it's like he gonna take that risk with you when the time is right. But first of all, do not take him back if he still got them cups. He gonna have to get rid of those cups. And this extra cup over here with you could be a business or something, you know, but he can't bring these cups with him. You gonna have to pull them cups out and leave them where they at. He ain't gonna be happy about it, but he gotta do what he gotta do. And he gonna have to make a change fast because if he don't make a change fast, then you, my feminine, you ain't finna be uh, waiting around because you've matured. You're very intuitive. You don't play that shit. Motherfuckers look up to you and you just not accepting anything. Three of swords. Yeah, you ain't having it. Somebody gonna have to get their heart broken. Those three of swords is those three of cups. I, girl, ooh. Your masculine is probably fucking with three other bitches. He probably in three other relationships outside of y'all. But y'all ain't together right now, clearly. But this nigga got three other bitches. He probably got keys to three different bitches' houses. He be drop. He be. He is king dingling. This is Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius. Yo nigga got three different bitches that he drop it off. He get to pick and choose which house he feel like going to that night. <laughs> but feminine, queen of swords in reverse, you ain't having it. You ain't having that shit. You ain't having that shit. You gonna always protect yourself, but you're actually defending yourself because this masculine is... Oh, ho. <laughs> I just had an epiphany. I need to go to Tiffany's. Fendi on my slippers and my always slippery. The tower. The tower in reverse. So an uh, end to something is coming. I don't know if this is, I, no, your masculine literally has to put an end to these three different bitches before he comes to you and it's going to make a whole change in his life. So like, maybe like he have, um, like financial ties with, with these women, but his life is about to turn upside down, but he has to li literally break some hearts. 
he have to get rid of those three cups that he ain't even happy with anyways. You have to put an end to it. He don't want to, but that's what he gonna have to do. Spirit, can you please tell me if he's gonna put an end to these three relationships? Page of Swords. The Swords is to cut it, cut it. But the page is like childish. He's not ready. He really don't want to do it, but it's like someone is telling him to do it and he knows it's the right thing. So he just going to do it, but he really not even mentally prepared to do it. So it's, this probably going to take some time because yo masculine, no, he can't fuck with no other bitches when he fucking with you. He going to have to cut these bitches off and he not ready to do it because he know it's going to bring a change in his life. And they both came in in a reverse. So he's really not ready. He not ready to break these hearts. He's not ready to move forward. He's not ready to make that boss move. Because these women, they probably give him money. He's probably a pimp. Because the emperor in reverse, you know, like still get money, but they do it in a wrong way. And these women give money to him. Yeah, he got these three wands. These three wands that he's, he's staying there while they gone, waiting on them to come back with what's needed to manifest type shit. We got the four wands. It came up in the upright. So I feel like he wants to marry you. But we still got these four wands, you know, but that's still twin flame. So I feel like he wants to marry you, but he won't get into that energy until he literally lets go of these other three wands. He's standing there by himself, holding on to these three wands. So he won't to marry you. He want to be with you and he wants stability with you, but he still want to hold on to these other three wands. So he, two of cups, he literally want to marry you, man. I'm about to take that out. You know, no, I'm not about to take it out. Because if it come out again, then that shit really is real. But this man really want to marry you. He know that you're his twin flame. Like, I don't know what the fuck God came in and did, but he gave him some truth. He opened up your masculine's eyes. He opened up your masculine's eyes. Now your masculine is ready to love you. Your person want to love you. Your person feel love from you. You bring him peace. You bring your masculine peace and your person want to come home. We had the no place like home car come out. Your person feel like he can accomplish anything with you. He can tackle anything. He can defeat anything with you. But he can't be juggling with you. His life can be so happy if he just stopped fucking juggling. I'm going to get like a couple of my tarot cards and then I'm going to go to the moonology because I got to go to sleep. Knight of Swords. Yeah, he ain't ready to make no move right now. He ain't ready to make no change right now. He don't know how. He's still trying to figure out how he going to get rid of these other three options. The two of fucking cups. What the fuck did I just say? It's meant. It's meant. Reverse about two minutes back. And y'all going to see what I said about the two of cups. I said, I, I'm going to put it back because at first it was on the bottom of the deck. And I just showed y'all and I was going to take it out because I just knew it was supposed to come out. But I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to put it back. If it come out, it's meant to be. You and your person is meant to be. This is faded. The second card out. 
And the whole reading was the fucking faded. We got the Ten of Cups. We got the Nine of Cups. And we got the fucking Queen of Cups. You are his home. You are his wish fulfillment. You know how to love him. Baby, you give good love to me. That ain't nothing but love, man. Your masculine love you. What's this? King Knight of Wands. Like I said, he's ready to come towards, but he just don't know how. It's just going to take some time, but he's definitely coming. He definitely coming. He just thinking about it right now. He He's trying to strategize, plot, plan, and execute. But this man loves you. We got all the good cups. And then we got the, we got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the lovers. It's tw And we got the star. We got Twin Flame all over this reading. We got Twin Flame all over this reading. I don't know who I'm channeling. But we got Twin Flame all over this reading. Like... They're not supposed to come out like that. This is definitely a twin flame, and he's ready to come towards you. He's just not ready to let go of all them options. Yeah, he's stressing about it, trying to figure it out. He can't even sleep. He don't know how to, he don't know how to move forward. He's in his night energy. He's in his page in reverse. He's like, he's like not mentally prepared to go through this, but he is coming towards you because you are his happiness. You are his happiness. We have Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have fucking Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with all them cups. Oh my God. You know what? Okay, I'm about to go on to the Moonology because y'all clearly get the message. Your twin flame is not 100% ready to come towards you at this moment because he know you not having that bullshit. He can't have all them other women while fucking with you and he knows that so he's literally he's knowing that he want to come home there's no place like home he just trying to figure out a way to put an end to it you know but one thing for sure don't put no end to it if you gonna regret it because <laughs> i don't want you around me regretting that you ain't got your bitches go back to them house <laughs> What do you need to release? <laughs> he needs to release them bitches. Hold your vision as long as he hold his vision and take the necessary steps. He will manifest exactly what it is that he wants with you. Communication is key. He had to talk to these bitches. He have to let them go. But right now, nothing is set in stone. So feminine, this is your reading, you know, peeking in on the masculine. And he loves you. Y'all gonna get married. But he has to release at least three bitches. Ta Please like, share, and subscribe if you like my mother freaking vibe. And follow me on Instagram. My link to my personal Instagram is in the description box. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later.